Home prices are up again. Trump brags on opportunity zones, and it looks like whatever future economic correction happens won't affect the housing market. Hi, I'm Jordan Norris, and this is the 90 Second Real Estate Rundown. And as you can tell, it's been a big week in real estate news. To all you Prop News subscribers, remember, we're doing this series weekly now. To get notifications when we post, subscribe to us on YouTube. Ready? Let's go. During his State of the Union address, President Trump praised the Opportunity Zone tax incentive for pouring money into poor communities that haven't seen investment in decades. However, the program has received a lot of flack for providing benefits to wealthy developers with political connections looking to build luxury real estate projects. Home prices have gone up, again. From December of 2018 to 2019, we've seen an increase of 4%. The US price index is predicted to rise another 5.2% by December of this year. This makes affordability tougher for lower and middle class would-be home buyers. According to First American, it's the housing market that could save us all from a recession. Unlike during the Great Recession, which triggered the housing crisis, homeowners today have more equity and the debt to income ratio is at a 40 year low. This is good news since MIT Sloan School of Management did a comparison to market conditions in prior recessions and are saying there's a 70% chance of a recession in the next six months. Cities located in the heart of the country are beginning to see signs of the affordability crisis. For the middle class in smaller and mid-sized cities across the US, rent is getting more expensive. Households making $45,000 a year were more burdened by the cost of housing in 2018 than they were in 2011. For those paying more than 30% of their income on rent, there doesn't seem to be a solution coming anytime soon. With the death toll surpassing SARS, coronavirus stands as a threat to the world's economy just as SARS did in 2003. Because China accounts for 17% of global GDP, investors are starting to worry. And when they worry, they sell off stocks and purchase US bonds, which increases the competition for people who buy mortgage-backed bonds. All of this translates to lower mortgage rates. That's all we could fit in this week. For the top headlines of next week, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any feedback on the show, comment down below. We'd love to hear your thoughts. See you next week from our new offices.